kept yet another uh, derailment uh, near Edmonton. Um, what do you make of it, and what needs to be done? Well, I really appreciate that the media are following these derailments. You'll notice that they're creeping closer and closer to Na Jasper National Park, where these lines run through our, our national parks. Um, I'm deeply concerned that these derailments are also happening close to our important recreational water bodies. As you know, 2005, the largest spill into fresh water in history into Lake Wabnum. <laughs> Federation of Community Municipalities, the rail workers themselves, communities are calling this government to assert its unilateral power and actually start regulating these rail lines. It isn't good enough that we just sit back and wait until there's derailments and then they send in the Transportation Safety Board, who are doing good work, and then the government sits by and ignores all the recommendations. So they are finally being persuaded to use their emergency powers. But what we need is regulations that are governing all rail lines and take preventive action. They keep talking about it. They're almost, almost like those environmental regulations. We were hearing about the 207. Well, I'm really glad that you're raising uh, environmental regulations. One of the things that is just stunning me, and I plan to table a bill about this, um, we have at least some semblance of environmental impact assessment and public hearing now on pipelines that are carrying bitumen and other petroleum products. But there's no such requirement for rail lines. And so we're having the rail lines now carrying up to a 300% increase dangerous cargo. And there's no environmental assessment, there's no advance notice to communities, no seeking consent. And uh, this dangerous cargo is shunting right into the center of, of my riding daily. So when is the government actually going to wake up and act? The rail workers themselves are saying enough of industry self-regulation of this dangerous cargo. They want this government to step up to the plate and start taking this seriously. Um, I've been reading some rather frightening reports out of the United States that apparently um, rail shipping is so much cheaper than pipelines um, that companies are now not, the companies, the refiners are saying, wouldn't even support the building of the pipelines because we can get the, this in cheaply by rail lines. We're seeing the profits of the big rail lines rise at the same time they're cutting back on staff. So I think there's a lot of big questions that we need to be asking the government, but mostly we need them to finally assert their unilateral powers to regulate rail.